Hello, this is Chris. Welcome back to Sweet Acre Koi Farm. And it's Friday, so we're going to do some pond temp readings. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go walk to the pond in the front. Catch you guys in a minute. And we have 42 degrees, 6 feet down by where our koi are supposed to be resting. <clears throat> at 3 feet down, we're at 46 the tunnel temperature is 64 and oh come on surface temperature is right at 45 i don't know if you can see that but it's eh, 44 45 and like i said there are the koi right there Okay, so there are your pond temp readings for the week. And I'm going to walk you around the pond a little bit. You can see how much it's going up. We're slowly losing that, what I call, toilet rim. And yes, we do have more rain in the forecast than in the week. So that's encouraging. We still have a little bit of bank to gain right here. Not too much, but we still have, like I said, room to raise, rise, whatever you want to call it. It, it can go up a little bit more to go back to where it originally was before it drained, when it drained all the way down on the south side. So we still have more room that we can go up maybe another inch and a half and then we'll be right back to where we were, which is very encouraging. Um, I don't know if I could see the tell, that concrete tell that's over here. Oh, there it is. I could see it today. Don't know if you can, but it's right in there, way down there. So yeah, that's, that's very, very encouraging. So I'm pretty happy about that. And there is where our hose is. It is now right there with the water. Right there. So that is very encouraging. There we go. And it's all the way up in here now for some of those, because I had some people tell me they were watching over here. So there's your shot over here. And I do have, <clears throat> I do have lilies that are planted in here. And at one point they were almost five feet above the water line. And you know, I can show you those real quick. Let's see if I can get over there. Yeah, they were, they were, I have, I'm gonna have to, maybe I can find some old pictures of what they look like when they were five feet above the water line. See, there you go. There's one. There's one lily right there. There's another lily right there. Another one right there. Um, some right there. There. There's some more. So you can tell that, well, this one was planted a little bit lower, but you get the gist. They were about five feet above waterline. I planted them right at waterline when we had that issue, and then it drained about five feet down, and there's another So that kind of gives you an idea where this was, so it's right back where it was before it drained on the south side. Okay, here are our pond temp readings for the week. Yellow is this week. So you're looking at the date, the current outdoor temperature, the real feel, the tunnel, the surface, three feet down, six feet down, wind, gust, highs of the day, low, and whether or not it rained or snowed. This is just for me 
the basic temperature at the bottom at a glance so I can tell where my koi are sitting. That's all that last column is. So just wanted to do that for the new subscribers so they can follow along what we're doing here. But yeah, today we're looking at a four degrees difference from three feet down. Three feet down, it is 46, and down by our koi, it is 42. So there is quite a bit difference between that. And then at the surface, we registered 43. I went back on the video, I triple checked it, and it is sitting at 43 degrees. So there's three degree difference at the surface, then there is three feet down, and there is four degree difference three feet down to the bottom of the pond at six feet. So there you go. So that tells you right there that with a pump running, circulating a pond, that pond is not sitting at 43 degrees, the entire pond. And I could go out there with my temperature gun pointed at the surface. And all winter long, I would have been getting these readings and thinking that that was what my water temperature was when in fact we can clearly see it is not okay well we're back so that's it for today for pond temp readings and if you enjoyed the video please click like if you haven't subscribed think about subscribing click that notification bell and you won't miss any upcoming videos we have quite a few of them coming up Thank you, everybody. You guys all have a great week and stay sweet.